After 26 years of charity fundraising in which he's collected over three quarters of a million pounds for various good causes, 72-year-old Paul Hobbs is facing his biggest test yet. 26.2 miles around Western Supermare's Grand Pier in aid of the British Heart Foundation. And to make it extra special, it's two years to the day that Paul's life was saved as he underwent open heart surgery on an aneurysm in his heart. This film is the story of an amazing day's fundraising. We're here at the start of uh, Paul, your walk, and uh, you've been joined by the first of many guests today, the, uh, the, uh, the Mayor, James Clayton. Um, so what would you like to say to him? Well, James has uh, been very supportive, and uh, I'm delighted that he's come down to uh, set me on my way for the start of this uh, mission, you know, today, which is, a, which is a special personal day for me, and I, I got... A, you know, a, a big message to send out there, and uh, I appreciate James coming down and getting behind this event. James, as uh, Paul said, it, it is a bit of a mission to this. Off camera, you, he was telling you about all he's been through. Uh, it's remarkable that he's going to set out on this this uh, walk today, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It is remarkable, and, and hands down to Paul for doing what he's doing. He's highlighting a real issue here, an issue that... Um, has, does go unnoticed with, with people with heart conditions and unfortunately we have a lot of fatalities uh, f from that. Um, so yeah, I'm absolutely here to support Paul as his mayor. And it's a great venue for this, isn't it, really? Because it's a confined space but also a, an iconic landmark of the town. Yeah, absolutely. The pier is, is the icon of the, of the, of the town. Um, it's got a lovely promenade, a nice long promenade as well, which um, Paul will be making use of uh, throughout the day. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I wish him luck. OK, Paul, uh, almost ready to go? Absolutely. Good luck. Thank you very much. Right then, Paul, off you go on your way. Good luck. Thank you. Graham, uh, thanks for coming down and lending your support, as you always do on Paul's uh, charity walks. Yeah. Of course, you were the chairman of the uh, the local hospital trust, weren't you, until um, comparatively recently. Indeed, so right. you'll be well aware of the importance of this message that Paul's trying to put across. Indeed, and Paul's message today is really about can we try to spot problems before they occur? Um, and thanks to the BRI and the Heart Institute for all the help they've given Paul. The difficulty is, of course, that if people have an aneurysm in their heart, we don't routinely go looking for them at the moment so it always comes as a, as a surprise for people and that's where we're lucky that Paul is now three and a half miles into his 26 mile walk and we look forward to finishing it today. Because it is the silent killer isn't it um, and, and I suppose you just have to keep having regular checks for your health generally don't you and hopefully then as it would happen with Paul uh, it'll get picked up anyway. Well, we could hope so, but of course the, the checks for, for an aneurysm aren't routinely undertaken. And so that's part of what Paul's trying to raise money for today, is to try to get some more research and more testing available so that we can spot the silent killer before it hits. 
And just a word about Paul. I know he wouldn't, he, he's not in this for personal glory or anything like that, but it, it, he is remarkable because this event wouldn't be happening without him. It's not like somebody else no. had put it on and he's joined in. No, no. He's organised the whole thing, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, as always. And he ends up dragging those people who just say, yeah, all right, then Paul will come along. So, yes, we couldn't do without Paul Hobbs, and uh, he's a great man and a great fundraiser. And yeah. that's really special for Weston. He's a hard man to say no to, isn't he? Yeah, I know, yeah, because he talks you out of it. Bloody talks forever. So, bless him. Yeah, we love him to bits. Yeah, he's a, he's a good bloke. He was telling me all about his stories about his heart and why he's doing what he's doing and I really commend him for what he's doing. Yeah, so. it's, it's fantastic effort, isn't it? Yeah. Um, from your point of view, uh, it's promoting the town of Weston as well, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, and he's doing it for a good cause and I'm really happy to be here to help him and have a few walks with him, have a chat with him and, yeah, like you said, it puts Weston on the map a bit and promotes us. And the thing is that um, it can strike anybody, can't you? Heart disease, yeah. aneurysms, that sort of thing. As we saw in the Euros with Ericsson, you yeah. know, and, and there have been num a number of footballers in the past, uh, Fabrice Mwamba for another, yeah. who, who've collapsed on the pitch. So you never know, do you? Ha no matter how fit you are, something like this can happen. Exactly, and that's what we were talking about. Anything can happen, you've always got to be checked, and you've just got to make sure that you're healthy and, yeah. How are you? Tom, absolutely pleasure. All right, how are you doing? Really well, thank thanks you. Thanks for uh, coming down yeah. and hey, no uh, giving No problem at all, you're doing a brilliant job. Yeah. Really yeah. appreciate it. We've got a way yeah. to go. Hi, Nick. Hi, nice guys, how are you doing? Good, good, very well. How are you? Yeah, at the moment, fingers crossed. The weather's good. good. He's done 4.2 miles. He's done 18 laps. Yeah, yeah. outstanding. Yeah, we're doing Oh, that's well. really good. Yeah, Pat sends his, his best wishes. They, they've got a full training day today, but he uh, he said the boys are behind you and we'll um, we'll get a video message from the guys to, to wish you well as Brilliant. well. Brilliant. So appreciate that. We are, uh, yeah. Really we're, appreciate We're very inspired that. by the work you're doing. So Yeah, I was trying to get a message out there because two years today, I was in the operating theatre now with a life-saving open heart surgery. Right. So... And uh, so I'm, I'm lucky to be here to tell the tale, really. Yeah, that's so, uh, so I want to give something back and try to get a message out to help save lives in the future because um, I didn't have no symptoms. I'd done a walk on here just a couple of months before and through a scan relate, not related to it, they located that I had this uh, massive aneurysm on the root of the heart. So. Well, There's not well. enough awareness. So how so how far? What's the plan today? Then how far are you walking in total? A full marathon. Because <laughs> me 26 year as well. Because yeah. I couldn't oh, okay. do no, I couldn't do nothing with uh, the 25th because of COVID. So everything, all the stats work out great. 26 years, 26 miles, and two years to the day. It's the anniversary that you know. Yeah. So it's a it's. It's perfect, really. So you're me four down do so far? Four miles down, is that correct? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, just over four miles, I think. 18 laps so far, yeah. Yeah, yeah. nice. So you better get on, Paul, are not you? <laughs> oh, I know the boss, the boss is at it. So I'll let him. So you're going to. I'll talk to him in a minute. The guys, I'm sure, will go and walk with you and we'll catch up with you in a Do you want to come and have a. Yeah, yeah. That's trouble. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Tom. <laughs> Hi to the King Nigel, thanks. <laughs> there you go. Right, Paul, the other Paul has just arrived. So, uh, Paul Randall. Paul, how are you, Paul? All right. How are you? You all right? Good, yeah, I'm good, all right, good. mate. Paul, I'm getting and Paul Randall, come and meet, come and meet uh, Tom and uh, Nick from Bristol Rugby, Hi, from Bristol, Bristol Bears. Bears. Nice nice to see you. Paul Randall, nice. Bristol right. Rovers yeah, legend. I was going to say, proper legend. Yeah. 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 All these sports. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'll tell you what, he, Nigel, he's such an inspiring character. Like Nick and I came down to, to join Paul for a section of the walk and he's so lively, he's full of energy and what he's doing is really aligned with the values that we hold true at Bristol Bears as well. So incredible that the community are getting behind him and he's got our full support. Yeah, well, it's fantastic you've made the trip down from Bristol. Nick, um, obviously you're from South Africa, but have you ever seen anything like this sort of an individual fundraiser? Because as I've said to other people, this event is purely down to him. It's not that, like the event was happening and he's joined in. He's organised the whole thing. That's fantastic. Yeah, no, he's sensational. And um, what he's done to pull this all together is, is exceptional. I know, um, you know, my gran would most certainly be down here supporting him if uh, she lived in the UK. She's an avid walker. But Paul was seriously setting a pace there. So I encourage people to come down and um, join in in everything that he's doing and, and the money he's trying to raise for the British Heart Foundation because it's... Uh, it's great, and as Tom said, you know, he speaks with such enthusiasm and um, wants to really make a difference and help people out. So, Because the thing is, you never know when health problems are going to hit you. It, it, it's happened to a lot of sports people, hasn't it, Tom, that, uh, you know, you can be struck down at any moment and that's it and we talked about the fragility of it and you look at Christian Eriksen in the Euros most recently and I think one thing that's really inspired Nick and I today is just how positive Paul is like he's overcome some incredible challenges in his own life and yet here he is still one foot in front of the other and he said you know with everything just keep walking just keep walking and it's just fantastic that he is raising money for something that is so valuable to so many people yeah, and from a club's point of view, from the Bristol Bears, you don't just play rugby, you do want to support the community, don't you? Absolutely, like inspiring our community through rugby success, that's the mantra that holds true for everything that we do at the club and you'll know well yourself, Nigel, that the, the pillars that Pat Lamb and Stephen Lansdowne have put in place it, it, it permeates more than just, just rugby. So for us to be able to be here, to, to represent the Bears today, to show Paul that he's got everyone's support at the club and that we're right behind him, what he's trying to do. As Paul's been doing this in things like it for years and years and years. I've lost count of the amount of money he's raised, but I'm told it's well into seven figures. Yeah. So uh, he's, a, he's a complete dynamo. Um, and this time round, obviously, for heart disease and that sort of stuff, you know, as, as somebody, he had a few heart problems himself a few years back as well. So just shows that A, you can recover, um, and B, just trying to raise a bit of awareness. I think it's a great thing. I've done at least one lap with him, but I can't claim to have done the full 26 miles. He's done so much for charity, and we'd follow him everywhere. You know, it's great to support him him and all the, the different charities he's done he's worked for yeah so 26 years of it you were there in the very very early days uh, uh, events in Bristol but here we are 2021 on the Grand Pier in Western and he's walking a marathon it's amazing isn't it it is amazing you know especially after what he's gone through and uh, but that's just Paul Hobbs always thinking about other people you know and uh, you know it is enthusiasm to help people you know it is uh, insurmountable Well, you've done a marvellous job, and you've had well, and it's trying over, to get a big it's message over the out. years as well, is not it? Yeah, it is. But this and now it's about you now, about though. It's about your heart surgery now, isn't it? Well, yeah. At the British Heart Foundation. Uh, yeah, and you make five thousand quid. You hope. I'm hoping to. I'm hoping this event will raise five thousand. Yeah, yeah. We're on, th we're on three at the moment, and yeah. there's still more to come. And yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I mean, it's difficult times in it as well. You know what we've been through. So, working with people, so you, you can't. It, it is difficult. But and you're fit enough, are you? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, there, you know, one or two have been a bit worried that I was going to try and do 26 miles, but at the end of the day, I'm confident that yeah, well, when I go through that finishing line, it round well, five o'clock. Won't be today, will you? Oh, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About five. Well, when did you start doing it then? Eight o'clock this morning. Oh, I see. Yeah. So. so you do it all in one day then. Yeah. Your feet all right? Yeah, everything's all right at the moment. Yeah. 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 It's perfect surface, isn't it? Yeah. It's not hard, is it?
been doing this for more years than I can remember, Nigel, to be honest. Over 20 odd years I've been supporting Paul. Um, you know, he puts his arms on the sleeve. Without people like Paul, lots of charities would fail. You know, you've got to, give the, you've got to commend the guy. And uh, every year, I think, for the last 20 odd years, he's texted me, I've got an event coming up, and I always try my best to get to. I'm, I'm gonna, I have been to every single one, but I've done my best, and I've certainly uh, attended the majority of, of the events. And, and this has all been put on just by him. It's not like it was an event that existed before. So apart from walking 26.2 miles, he's had all the organisation to do too. Absolutely, and you've got to give the guy credit for doing just that. I mean, I've just done a few laps with with him and you know what he's into his centre I'm struggling to keep up with him myself I've got a sweat on me beard and everything I know I'm a bit overweight but yeah I, all I can do is commend Paul and I, as long as he continues to do these events I, I will continue to support him 100% well, Paul, here we are. You're on your 100th lap now, and uh, 105 is the target, so you're almost there. How are you feeling? Great to see the end in sight, Nigel, I can assure you. It's a, a great feeling to have hit the turn, and uh, it's been a monumental day on all fronts, and uh, to get to this stage, you know, um, is unbelievable feeling, and... Uh, I'm looking very forward to the end in having a refreshment, I can assure you. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Um, and of course, uh, people can donate on Just Giving, and they are doing so as we speak. Uh, so what, what, what's your reflection on this as an event and the way it's all gone overall? Pretty good? Oh, absolutely. I mean, within my wildest dreams, I, I couldn't have envelaped it being as good as this because... You can put everything into it, the amount of people that have come down, uh, supported this, all different types of people, and all the media that have covered it, all the websites is going on, the donations I know have, have, have gone up, and, uh, you know, the target for the event was 5,000. I think, you know, by the end, we are well surpassed that. So, in all, a wonderful day, I think the message of have come out well people understand what this event's all about trying to help save lives from my own experience on a day when i actually was given license to continue my life so in all a wonderful day and you know with just a few laps to go now uh, yeah a truly wonderful day and rewarding excellent see you at the finish Yes, yeah, look forward to that. <laughs> He's already there. Uh, He's going to go to the street. He's going to go to the street. Four ups, come on, ladies and gents. Encouraging, bring it. Bring it, man. Come on. Come on, Paul. 101 laps around the pier. Never been done before. He's been one for a long time. He's been six miles. For a great course. Well, of course, people are standing around here. It's been into it. Very nice Come on, so Paul, I reckon that probably tastes quite good, doesn't it? Bless. <laughs> I've got to be honest, I've never enjoyed a drink so much after a walk like that, you know. When I seen the sight of that finishing line, it, it was really something special. And to go through it was even more special, so it rounds up, I think, um, fantastic day of success and awareness that we've got over and no doubt we've we've raised a, f a few uh, extra pound I should imagine on the uh, just giving and I'm sure by the time we finish we will have a decent total and in a, in a way it's the the end of what's been a pretty traumatic two or three years for you uh, trying to put on events your health problems and everything else so it's nice to top it all off with something that's been a roaring success it really has been it has and uh, it's caught the imagination it really has the level of people in the vast amount of pe different people we've had that have supported this event and you're right it has been a traumatic period and that's why I had the idea, I thought, 
I needed to do something on that day. I really did. It had to be on, on this very day. And the 26 miles seemed a, seemed a natural with the years as well, 26 years of charity. I knew it was going to be stiff, but I was I was confident that I could do it. You know? Just think yourself lucky it wasn't 35 years, in which case you'd have had to do a bit yeah, more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would have, wouldn't I? But uh, for now, this has been accomplished, and uh, you know, it's, it, it's very a great satisfaction of achieving it. And great, it's so many people have. I think made it a great atmosphere as we ticked but, uh, off. It, it, it's, it's acted as, as an inspiration, you know. Every time I come round, a round of applause. Because there was always a period when you start to feel a little bit like, God, how many more miles, you know. But, um, yeah, it's... Uh, we done it in the end, well all done. of us. I oh, didn't. We all done it. You know, have a have a good sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah, because I certainly didn't sleep. I know I had orders to sleep last night. There was no way you could. No. You know, I wanted to be ready for today, and I didn't want to oversleep or something like that. So, uh, no, fantastic. Well fantastic done. Fantastic day. effort. Well done, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. I'd just like to thank every single one of you so much for all your support. Every, way, every step along the way, I've had so much support. Um, the Grand Pier have been fantastic with the venue and everything they've done. The sponsors, uh, the film productions, interviews, the support I've had, the help. If I was to mention every single person, I'd be here to midnight. But I just want to thank you all so much for this fantastic day the fantastic success of it and I can't thank you all enough so God bless you all thank you so much